This is Kendra, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. All right, we got a little bit of Azure Lane on tap today, so let's go ahead and talk about it. So as we know, uh, the events uh, from yesterday uh, are over. So um, Aurora Noctis has closed off. So there's still the basic the basic uh, uh, plans for the mission uh, that you can still want to collect, but there's not a, really a whole lot you can do in terms of sorties and all that have been closed. Uh, so let's see what's up. Well, first we've got... Um, a call to arms up so this is going to be a call to arms for the iron blood uh so uh we've got the basically the four ships queen elizabeth elizabeth sovetskaya Rusia, akagi and eldridge uh as i've said previously i do not have akagi um just this morning i decided to you know i run some of the actual uh three four again to try to get akagi and this is what i got <laughs> It's annoying. <laughs> I swear to God. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, I've run three, four hundreds of times. Literally, I'm not I'm not exaggerating. Hundreds, hundreds. It's probably close to maybe 400, 500 times. And I'm not exaggerating that. Uh, and I've got a Kagi probably every single time I've run it. That's what I've gotten is a Kagi. I've never once even seen a Kagi. Uh, so I don't have her. Um, it's just ridiculous. And today I run it. Uh, I ran it about, I'd say, 10 or 11 times. Uh, I cashed in a bunch of oil, uh, and ran it until my affinity started to take a hit. Uh, even though I do have many dorms, so I'm letting my affinity charge up. I run it again this evening. Uh, and uh, like I said, I had about 22,000 uh, oil. I run it down to my one, you know, one caca. <laughs> it's just annoying. It's really, really, really annoying. And I definitely want to get her now because she'd have a 20 experience up. And I could start, you know, getting her up get her ready. Um, but I don't have her. I do have the other ships. Uh, pretty much almost all of them are fairly close, except for Eldritch, I believe. So let's see here. If we take a look in here, we've got... So we've got Queen Elizabeth. Uh, you got her at 125, you know. I'm hoping we'll get at, uh, some type of retrofit this uh, at the next event. Uh, UR event coming up to actually take her to UR capability. Uh, or uh, give us a new ship, one or the other. Uh, but something... She's a, she's a flagship. She needs to not be epic. It's just uh, an oversight that they need to take care of uh, in that. Um, I mean, she she got excellent stats. I mean, there's nothing wrong. Of course, you'd want an increase in stats to make her UR retrofit would happen, of course. But nonetheless, it needs to be handled. Uh, so this guy, Rusia, I got her at 145, uh, and Eldridge is at 87. Uh, so I've got both of them in a fleet, and that's what I'm using to run 3-5 with. Um, I've got these three in there, and I just run it over and over and over and over and over, and over again. <laughs> That's all I can do at this point. And maybe one day I'll get lucky and Akagi will pop up. Otherwise, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just what it is. Uh, but I'm not saying I've, I, every single time I've gotten, uh, you know, I've gotten Kaga probably. You see, she's completely, she's completely fully retrofitted. Uh, you know, I've got her. Okay. I fully limit broke her just using, I did not use a bullet on her. Um, all these, the limit breaks you see were done just from obtaining her. Uh, and probably 10, yeah, yeah, eight or not, maybe eight, definitely eight, maybe nine or 10, uh, copies of her. I just, you know, I just retire them because of the fact that they're useless to me. Uh, but I can't get a Kagi. Uh, you know, it's three, four, so it's really, it's really easy to run. I mean, it's a simple, you can put, you can just put base, you know, base ships in there to do it, uh, and do it. Uh, there's three times core campaign, so you want to make sure that you definitely do your hard modes today, by the way. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's three, four, normal, no, nothing, you know, it's right here. So, uh, as you can see, I've gotten every single ship in this in this except for Okagi, which is right here and like i said i've got yeah i'm serious i've gotten all of these ships hundreds and i'm not exaggerating hundreds of times that i've gotten the uh, epic ships right here okay you, you're only eligible to receive this on the final the boss battle so it has to be in the boss battle on the stage um that you're eligible to get the the upper level one so it's only really like one time, I think that's the only thing you can actually get it because it's not available on any other of the uh, of the, the ships. And so, once you defeat the boss, you you get the chance for the job. 
and I'm, <laughs> it's just not happening. I'm going to run it some more. I mean, I'll be running it for the, consistently for the next, you know, seven days, which is while this event's going on, in an attempt to get a Kagi. Hopefully, it'll happen. But, you know, I've only got so much oil. Oil is not an infinite uh, material, so you're going to have to deal with it. But I cashed in all that I had in the mail. Um, I needed to get my gold back up. Uh, the Perseus just really annihilated me. Um, uh, you know, yeah, 80 is not a whole bunch of cubes, but uh, it's it's not just the cubes, it's the gold. And it's just the fact that we got another event coming up here, and we're going to be having another Your event. Uh, if you blow all of your cubes, literally, to get her, then you might not have enough for the UR to get the pity. Uh, so you want to make sure that you always go into a Your event that you have the cubes for the pity. Um, and you might, might want to have a stockpile of gold, too, because gold is infinitely needed as well. Uh, there have been times going for Shinano instantly where if I hadn't got lucky and got her, I might not have been able to get her because I would not have had a, have enough gold to actually reach the pity. Um, so you got to keep that in mind as well. Uh, we're doing this from, you know, uh, not, not spending anything. Of course, you can always uh, alleviate uh, all of those issues if you spend a little bit of money. To get, but I got some, I got some uh, gems, so it's not that big a deal. I could probably get something if I needed uh, but it's not something I prefer to use these on dock expansions uh, and the cells that come up when the, for the oath rings that occurs occasionally. Uh, so that's what I use. That's what I, I, I'll, the only thing I really use my diamonds for. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to continue to run it. But what we, So that's what we've got. So we've got a call to arms. Um, so get this ready. Get these ships out. Get them fully leveled up, you know, broke it up. Uh, and then hopefully, uh, hopefully here's in the next three or four days, We'll see about the actual ships. There'll obviously probably be a new one in there, uh, most likely, but we'll have to see. Uh, Blueprint completion plan for Odin. Um, you definitely want to work on this. Odin's a pretty good ship. She's a destroyer, but she's a PR. Or actually, I think she's DR, actually. She might be a DR. I'm not sure if she's PR or DR. Anyway, she's a really good ship in terms of a destroyer. Uh, uh, so for torpedo damage and whatnot. So Aurora Noctis, uh, if you didn't get Icarus, you know, um, I got her, uh, so uh, I already had her, but I got her in here again, but I just went ahead and, you know, uh, retired her. Nocturne Before Night Tall, this is if you're still going for this. Okay, Little Knight, um, you know, this this over, so hopefully you got her, you're, I got her again, but like I said, I didn't need her because these are all reruns. Uh, rapid Training, uh, this is still going on, it's still for the books, it's still in here today. Um, I'm holding off on today's skill set simply because I wanted to make sure to see whether or not I was going to get a Kagi. If I was going to get a Kagi, then I was going to go ahead and throw all of the um, today's into a Kagi, but I did not get her. I got Kaga. As I said, I don't need her, but I'm going to run it again this evening. So if I do manage to get lucky enough to get a Kagi, uh, then I will go ahead and use those. Otherwise, I'll probably dump them uh, into... Um, uh, I'll finish off Little Renown, and, and I'll finish off um, uh, Vampire. Uh, I, I already finished off in Paris, so I really don't got any, so I'll probably just start working on North Carolina, uh, you know, Alabama, some of those ships that I, that I have, that uh, the capital ships that I have, but just haven't, don't use. But I'll go ahead and get the skills done, because I, I've got the skills done for everything else. Uh, you know, I, I skills, I do these every day, multiple times. Uh you know, uh, I'll do my stuff during the day, and then I'll log on once in the evening, uh, and I will uh, reset up my uh, plans, and I will reset up my skills. So uh, I never let anything go to waste. You know, I review the commissions uh, and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I keep that stuff uh, flowing. So that's, that's the plan at this point. Uh, I'll, of course, check the other ships. Uh, and in these, you always want to choose uh, the ones that offer uh, the cognitive chips and the ones that offer cubes. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any of those. Urgents haven't popped up. They won't pop up until this evening. So I'll just go ahead and uh, grab two of these just for some oil. But yeah, that's what I always do. I always choose the ones that have the cognitive chips and the actual um, cubes as a reward. Uh, and I always run the research mission right here simply because they give you uh, enough oil to do that. Now, you get the 4,000 oil each week for free in the packs. So 
oil's not really the script that it used to be. Um, uh, as you can see, it I always save oil, but uh, I, you know, I'm going to start running three, four again this evening. <laughs> just letting my affinity recharge. Uh, you could just the easiest way to do that is to stick them in your dorm, uh, and that'll that'll get the enemy that, that'll get your recharge on your affinity. Got a bunch of this uh, food, uh, so it's not really yeah. So uh, this is this is you know the the, the ships uh, the ships in here that are going to be using for the actual event uh, and the ones I'm running the stage with, so that I keep you know keep their affinity up to things so I can use them because you you, know, you run it over and over and over and over again. Uh, it always runs an extra one, um, so I always uh, do that and to keep it less for oil. That's so that's why the affinity runs out. Uh, affinity is rechargeable. Uh, so it's something that you can you buff back up just by sticking them in the dorm. So it's you know an easy way to get it back. Uh, so that's everything in terms of that. So there's really not a whole lot, but uh, uh, yeah. So this is going to be going on until the 27th. Uh, so try to use these ships, get them ready just in case. Uh, and then uh, once we get a little bit more information on what's going to happen uh, with the second phase, it's, it's, it's obviously going to be the same thing. Uh, you're going to be able to. Um, uh, get a, a border okay a little bit of portrait frame uh for the missions of course this will be the same thing uh ships and stuff so we'll have to wait and see exactly if there's going to be any new entrance uh into the actual uh ships if they're going to give us a new one uh but uh, otherwise it's a chance to get uh fdg out and get her uh use her a little bit i mean she's still in there and she's still chomping at the bit i'm just waiting right now we're all we're on hold for FDG's, um, uh, so, you know, her simula fate simulation so we can get the luck for her, but, that, you know, that's what I'm saving these blueprints for uh, so that I can do that, but it still hasn't come. I mean, we got the one for Azuma, uh, but, yeah, still haven't come out with hers yet, so I'm just waiting something will happen uh, in that regards. So that's, uh, yeah, but I, I like, you know, I like, I have a good Iron Blood fleet, so I like to, whenever there's an Iron Blood thing going on, I generally like to use the Iron Blood ships just to keep with the actual, you know, get that actual feel. Uh, I do do that sometimes. I'll just make a fleet that's actually comprised of the ships that are actually in the cutscenes <laughs> just to keep, I, I, yeah, I do that sometimes, you know, it, it just, you know, I like to do that. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it just makes it feel better. And since I got the ships to do, I might as well. Uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm really hoping that, uh, uh, that with the, when the new UR event comes, I assume it would probably be sometime, probably sometime middle to end of next month, we'll see another UR ship come out because as they said, they were going to increase the, uh, regularity, uh, on those ships. So instead of just getting, you know, one or two, uh, probably going to see, probably see four, maybe five, uh, this year, maybe more, uh, it, you know, you can get them. Uh, as long as you, if you play the game regularly, uh, you'll you'll get the you get the cubes that you need to actually do it. Uh, so it shouldn't be you know it shouldn't be an issue that you should be able to reach the pity. Plus you you know a lot of times, uh, reaching the pity um, is not needed. Uh, I mean there are times I've gotten it literally on the first day. Shimakaz comes to mind. Uh, there are times it's been you know it, I've had to take it up there, but uh, generally you don't. Uh, but it's RNG, uh, just like on the previous event. It, you, you have it. Sometimes you don't have it. Uh, I realized that I, you know, I did not have it uh, for purposes. So I, I'm not gonna sweat it. I'll get her around when she comes again. Uh, it's just she's yeah, she's one of the best healers in the game. Uh, but she's not the only healer in the game. Uh, I found two ships that more than take care of all the healing that I need, and I've got them both fully maxed out. Uh, and I use them both uh, consistently uh, in the upper stages. Uh, you know, you get invariably the problem becomes on a, on your you know your twelves and thirds and fourteens in the future stuff. You you need to run. You need to clear all, to get three star. You have to clear all of the ships on one of the sorties, uh, and that usually is going to be thirteen to fourteen sorties. Um, you get ammo five for eight, so it's ten. So you're going to have to run um, an extra three or four sorties without ammo i mean there there are ways you can mitigate that but you can maybe get an extra ammo but it's just you know it's a hassle to go through to do it so it's just easier to just have one of your fleets stacked with health and that's what i use i, I stack that fleet with health 
I make sure it's tanky and can do some damage, and that's what I throw out. And I have not had any trouble whatsoever with those two ships in terms of healing. Uh, so um, they're excellent healers. The heals are targeted. Uh, yes, Perseus is one of the best in the game, but she's not the only one. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at with that particular thing. So I'm not, you know, I'm not happy that I didn't get her, <laughs> but it'll come around again, um, and uh, we'll give it another go at that time. But uh, yeah, I didn't feel like doing it at this point because my health was a little, my goal was a little bit too low, uh, and I wanted to keep my, um, I wanted to keep my cubes up uh, for some of the newer ships that are going to be coming out. I, I think we're probably going to have another new ship in here, uh, so you know. I want to be able to throw some cubes into this event uh, and at the same time, you know, have enough with the UR that's most likely going to be coming out within the next month or two, two months maybe. So, yeah, that's the reason for it. Uh, you know, if I needed her, then, you know, like she was like important, like I didn't have any other healing ships or anything like that that could do damage. Uh, yeah, I would have, of course, went, but, but uh, yeah, it did didn't really seem prudent at the time so we'll get her coming around but i did get valiant so there's a plus to that so we're getting a little bit closer to getting all the ships uh but yeah go ahead and put queen elizabeth in there eldritch and seven skya or russia and there ain't been run with those okay um because uh just in case uh on the next event if you come up a little bit short in terms if you if you really want to get the portrait frame uh then you'll have those ships to be able to run inside of the uh faceted levels, uh, uh, A's, 2's, A3, B2, B3, something like that, you'll be able to run those ships in its desired uh, sortie and be able to get the excess points in case you come up a little bit short on the build. Uh, either way, that's the way to go. So that's it. So uh, we'll have a video here in a couple of days once they start announcing the ships uh, that are going to be used, and we'll probably get a new one. Um, not a UR or anything like that, but we'll probably get a um, uh, another ship. Iron blood ship, hopefully, uh, that we could add to the fleet. Uh, and we'll have to see exactly. So expect for a good story. Uh, the call to arms always have really good stories. Uh, so it'll be nice to see what's up for this one. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember to subscribe. Once you subscribe to see the bell, click on it. You get notified each time we drop a video. So remember to like and share the video as it helps the channel immensely. Ken Rear, coming at you from the corner, signing out.